it's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. This week on the Street of Dreams, first quarter earnings season was in full swing. And the famous quote of the rumors of my demise are greatly exaggerated comes to mind as the feared earnings recession so talked about this past December did not show up in the first quarter numbers. Of the S&P 500 companies reporting so far, 79% have better analyst expectations. Microsoft, with strong fiscal earnings, became the third U.S. company to surpass the $1 trillion milestone in market cap. And Lockheed Martin, the aerospace company, exhibited the strongest growth in a decade. Now, the market cheered these results and pushed the S&P 500 and the tech-heavy NASDAQ back to all-time record highs, simply because earnings are still growing. Now, the S&P is on track to have its best year since 1987, and the NASDAQ is on track for its best year since 1991. Nevertheless, this remains one of the most hated bull markets in my lifetime. Investors, large and small, have been reticent to embrace this market, and negative sentiment is one of the reasons I've been an unadulterated bull over the last 10 years. But I sense this is finally starting to turn. Don't be surprised when your friends, your family, even your accountant start to brag to you about their successful speculations. Bull market fever is starting to show up in my numerous daily conversations with investors. A longtime friend and client mentioned to me the other day that his accountant is touting his success in picking stocks from a market newsletter. But keep in mind, single stock speculation is gambling. And just like gambling, you never hear about the losers and again, the house ultimately always wins. Over the last nine years, all active managers, now these are full-time professionals who have access to every newsletter, every research report. They even have access to the executives in the corporate office. They've underperformed the market for the last nine years. Warren Buffett, the greatest investor in our lifetime, admitted the other day that his portfolio is underperforming the market and has underperformed for the last 10 years. And you'd be better served to buy the market going forward than to invest in his stock. In Greek mythology, the sirens were dangerous creatures who lured unsuspecting sailors with their enchanting music to crash upon the rocky shores of their island. See, speculation is not investing. It's gambling and always ends in tears. So my advice is ignore the siren song of speculation, stay invested in a balanced, gold-based portfolio that generates the returns you need. Don't be tempted to chase the returns you may want. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, do I have the portfolio that I need to achieve my goals to my dreams? Is it appropriate to my risk tolerance? Well, why sit there and wonder when you could know? Simply give us a call or just text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692.